What's up guys? I have the Verizon Galaxy Nexus running Jelly Bean, um, which I'll show you in a second. What did you guys think of Google I.O. 2012? I mean, was that amazing or what? Let me tell you, other competitors, you guys know who I'm talking about, start off their keynote making fun of other competitors or talking trash. Google, on the other hand, they didn't have to say anything. Basically, the proof is in the pudding. And let me tell you, they just dropped a nuclear bomb on everyone. Wow, that, that show was brilliant. I mean, I had goosebumps when I was watching it. Um, what are your thoughts? Did you guys like the show? Did you, were you disappointed? Because let me tell you, June is one of my favorite months, WWDC, which, you know, was boring. Um, you know, we have E3, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I'm telling you right now, Google I.O., they saved the best for last. And it was really exciting. Anyway, let me show you Jelly Bean um, on the Verizon. Let's get started. So once again, this is the Verizon version of uh, the Galaxy Nexus running Jelly Bean. And right off the bat, you will notice that not, lo not a lot has changed. Uh, the Google uh, search bar looks a little different, but I can tell you right now that using the phone, and by the way, I've stayed up all night playing with it, I'm a little tired. Um, I can tell you right now, it is buttery smooth, um, hence Project Butter. Project Butter is basically the CPU and the GPU run in parallel, and it is indeed amazing. Uh, let me just show you guys that it is indeed running uh, Jelly Bean, Android version 4.1. So let's go ahead and dive into the web browser just to kind of show you guys um, the speed that I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right into Engadget. And you'll notice how smooth the web browsing is. And I know this is the mobile version and we're going to go ahead and jump into the, uh, the uh, desktop version here. And even before it completely loads, I'm going to show you, look at that website is still loading and this thing is amazing smooth I mean the best way I can describe it is you know how everybody says how smooth the iPhone is and how responsive I mean it's identical um, I can honestly say that using this and the iPhone is pretty on par so let me show you the New York Times as you can see I have not visited the site so it hasn't been pre-cached and it's probably gonna take me to the mobile and that's okay but once again, very, very smooth. Um, another thing that I've noticed with uh, Jelly Bean is the transitions and the UI is a lot more polished. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, for example, if I click on Home and let's say I click on the browser again, watch how it automatically zooms in really nice. Um, another one, let me just show you really quick, is for example, let's say I go to Google, it's Google Plus. Just, I need to kind of dive into the uh, settings here. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that really nice animation. Let me go ahead and click on back. Go ahead and do that. So it really feels nice and uh, it gives it more of a, if you want to call it expensive feel. I know that sounds weird. Um, it just, it's a lot more polished and it just feels really good um, using the, the device. So Google's Android system just keeps getting smarter and smarter. And another really nice feature is when you start moving things around, it automatically, as you can see, makes room or adjustments so that things just work perfectly. Um, as I move this clock widget, it'll automatically rearrange my icons. Very, very nice. And, uh, you know, they're always, Google's really thinking about the user experience. Um, this, this is something that, that seems so small. But I'm telling you right now, it's, it's actually really big. And you can also resize and it'll move things around. So once again, really big kudos to Google for um, really stepping it up. So another small update, but actually really big, is the pull-down notification. Uh, it's a lot cleaner. It has been revamped. For example, here I have an email from Las Vegas, Total Rewards Casino, and rather than me trying to dive right into my email, what I can do is use two fingers and it'll give me like what you would call a snippet of my um, email so I can see if it's important for me to click on it so I can read it or I can just use my two fingers and sort of uh, 
forget about it and read it later. So it's, once again, really, really nice. And Google's really trying to, um, once again, polish things and make things a lot different compared to uh, uh, <coughs> copycats, I mean, uh, other people that are trying to uh, mimic that. Um, this is nice too, and I think it's been there before. I don't remember, but when you have a lot of messages, it'll just uh, clear them all, but it has this really nice animation. Uh, I think that was there before, but uh, I'm not too sure. So one of the things that you'll see when you lock your phone now and you try to unlock it is you'll have this Google um, icon on top where you can swipe up, which is called Google Now. Now, Google Now is sort of like a predictive search. It's basically what they say, it's one step ahead of you. It's very smart. So for example, if you're leaving your house, it will let you know traffic conditions without you even Googling it. Or let's say you're at a train station, um, you, you, know, you swipe up to Google Now and it will let you know without you having to do anything um, when you're, the next train is going to arrive. And you can also uh, use the voice and talk. Well, it's probably not going to recognize it right now. Give me a second here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one right now. Are there any sushi places around here? So as you can see, it's very fast and it provided me with different sushi areas around here. Um, and it also, one of the things that I like is that it also gives you the web results at the very bottom. So Google now is pretty powerful, mainly because they're trying, and of course I'm sure they're going to improve it, they're trying to make it smart enough where you know, we're so used to Googling things, but what if Google already know, knew what you were looking for? So that's the whole thing. And, uh, you know, they, they didn't use the terminology I use is predictive search. Maybe they should have used that. FYI, Google, go ahead and patent that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's uh, Google now, and it's pretty nice. You can also uh, use the uh, search like we used to be able to do before, but of course, it's a lot smarter now. Look at that beautiful animation, guys. So there you have it. Um, I know I didn't go through all of the new features and Jelly Bean might seem like a very incremental update, but I can tell you that this is the update that Google needed to really set Android apart. And I think those people that have been afraid to use an Android device or have had a bad experience, I really feel that Jelly Bean is gonna be the device, or not really the device, but the operating system if, with that new device that's really gonna allow Google to gain even more market share. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank the developers that made this happen. If you want to port ice cream, excuse me, gosh, I, I'm very tired, Jelly Bean. If you want to port Jelly Bean to your Galaxy Nexus Verizon, I've added a link below. Follow the instructions. Uh, thank you, developers, for making this happen. It was just yesterday that uh, Google announced Jelly Bean, and how awesome is it that we have it in, on our phones right now. So, once again, thanks, and uh, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.